Hello everyone. So now we are going to start a new series which is for exclusively for uh, the board exam. CBSE exam is here in our, I mean it is almost in our doorstep. So we have to prepare all the derivations very clearly. Okay, so you have to repeat and repeat. So my my philosophy is like uh, minimum four times you have to you have to write it without the help of a uh, notebook or textbook. Then only you would be able to produce reciprocate the exact thing in on your paper. So basically, this for that for the revision purpose only I'm going to do the same thing. I'll be doing all derivations in CBSE one by one. Okay, so one in one video, one derivation like that. We'll be doing all the derivations, all the essay type questions uh, only for CBSE and other board exams. So uh, like there are a few things I need to be, I mean, I need to clarify here. Number one, I'll be doing all the derivations in the order, in the same order, like from electrostatics to electronics, last chapter. So based on our syllabus. Okay, number two, that is I'll be doing all these videos like exclusively like specifically uh, how could I say um, like in a, in a uh, very uh, like slow manner like I mean the pace would be very less because the reason is like so some some students want to make it like very fast so because there is a, a option for that right you can make it in 1.5x but why I'm doing this because I just want to consider all the students that's why I'll be making it's very very uh, slowly and all the pace would be less that's a very convenient that's very convenient so it's third one um third thing that is i'll be giving each and every steps okay i'll not be skipping any steps and all the mathematical approximations that we are taking all the mathematical formulae we are using trigonometry vectors integration everything i'll be i'll be mentioning on the right or left side i'll be mentioning okay so that is also very important and then another important thing is that so whenever you feel like like you want to uh, rewatch it like you can go and you, you can come and rewatch it but my personal opinion every time when you revise do not rewatch it so if you watch it that would be, be that would be little beneficial for me but i don't want you to do that you watch it once and try to produce right try to write it again on the paper so that would be the best option okay and few things i want to add so my uh, like whenever you write derivations on your paper i always tell my students to choose two uh, i mean to have two philosophies my philosophy is uh, on writing board exam is only two things number one you you keep in your mind this is your last exam this is going to be your last exam so i'm not going to write it this exam anymore so when you write it you write it in that way so you try to write everything every in detail you write so provided you have to consider i mean you have to consider the time as well number two you try to write it for someone who doesn't know this particular topic so you keep in your mind two things one is this is your last exam second you try to write it for someone like someone who's going to correct it would be a physics teacher but don't consider that don't think that okay they know all these things okay i'll give the minimum minimal steps no you write it for someone who doesn't know what is this you are going to teach them on your paper so like that you write so you are not going to miss any mark okay so these things you keep in your mind so we are going to start it and uh, mostly you know, in one week i would be finishing all the derivations so that's it okay thank you